Greetings, YouTube. At long last, the compensation package details, the big compensation package details, otherwise known as Karina's Care Package, which is kind of bizarre, uh, has been released. Now, this surprises me because I am guessing, and maybe I'll be wrong, but kabam, every time this has been coded in the game, because you have normally, when something hits your in-game inbox, 30 days to claim it, which means it has to be coded into the game for that long. So, whenever people advance in progression levels naturally in the game, when they refresh the game, the compensation package traditionally for the next progression level is waiting for you, which means if you progress multiple or even just one levels uh, in the next week to month, you will get multiple compensation packages. Maybe that will stop with this. I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm just saying historically speaking, that's what we've seen. Also, historically speaking, those of you who have waited to go to Cavalier or Throne Breaker or Wallet Breaker will have a lot of incentive to get multiple offers of the best offers this July 4th weekend in about a week and a half, really in about nine days. So let's check it out. Because Kabam Jacks posted summoners as a thank you for your patience as we have worked to address our game wide control related issues over the last eight plus months. Karina will be sending out a care package to all summoners today, June 22nd. This package will be based on your progression level. Now, there was a uh, theory, understandably, that Wallet Breaker would have its own compensation package. That is not the case. My guess is a lot of people are going to go from Throne Breaker to Wallet Breaker if they buy the best July 4th offers. So they maybe didn't want to give Thronebreaker players double compensation. So they made Thronebreaker and Wallet Breaker the same. Now, I think that's actually a bonus to Thronebreaker players on paper, but if you were hoping to get two compensation packages, it appears that going from Conqueror to Uncollected or Uncollected to Cavalier or Cavalier to Thronebreaker are the only three ways you can do that. So, let's check out the details because uh, this provides, again, Kabam Jacks, MVP of the forums, a good breakdown of everything that every progression level gets instead of just what you may see on your screen, obviously, since you only get to see what progression level you have. To claim your care package, you will need to log in between June 22nd and July 13th. Keep in mind that changing your progression level during this time will not change the package that you receive. Okay, so, that's what they claim. We shall see if that is true. The compensation package catered to your current progression level will be as follows. Okay, so maybe the reason why this has been delayed so much is because they had to figure out the coding for why that kept happening every single time before this. My guess is somehow they they have figured out a way, though, to not... Because if they, if they have the coding for that, then they should have the coding to not get you the best of the offers for the next progression level of July 4th weekend. But if they stop that coding then they not only disincentivize players from progressing during that weekend, but they actually hurt their bottom line because if you want to buy all the best Odins of, say, the Throne Breakers and the Wall of Breakers, where well, you're going to spend $300 more than you would normally because it's usually limit three except for the lowest uh, $5 offer, which is limit five. Compensation package. Okay, so six-star Nexus for Throne Breaker, uh, Wall of Breaker. That is nothing new. We've seen that in the past. Six-star Crystal for Cavalier, half a six star for Conqueror Uncollected, half a six star for like Challenger, especially, uh, or excuse me, Uncollected is good. Conqueror still gets a five star Nexus, which I mean, can you imagine being like a level five and getting a five star Nexus? That's awesome. For those at the very bottom, um, that this is where it always hurts people. For those at the very bottom, it's the best. For those who are Conqueror, you get you get screwed. Can't tell. Uh, sorry, players, you get the same stuff as people who who are like level five or just started maybe maybe. A new, maybe a new account. That needs to be a separate video that we need to go into more. But maybe this is a great time to start a new account right now. Is between this and July 4th offers. Uh, I also want to say this because I made a promise to the community that I've not forgotten. The game is still broken. So regardless of whether or not this compensation is like the best thing ever for your account, this still doesn't excuse Kabam from not fixing the game. So I, I want to point that out because my channel is going to keep reporting on when they delete forum posts and they silent ban people and obviously when they just flat out say mission accomplished when the game is uh, continually broken. A uh, million gold, 750,000 gold, 500,000 gold, 250,000 gold. The gold thing, I feel like everybody should get a million gold. That's kind of confusing that they're hurting players starting at Cavalier for that. It's only $100 worth of gold. 
Five energy refills. That really isn't that big a deal because we just got the energy refill compensation. A million loyalty. That's pretty amazing. And then it drops off substantially to 500,000, 250,000, 100,000. 6,000 glory. Now, y'all, if you're like me and you're hoarding your glory, you could be in danger of claiming glory that may or may not uh, go into your overflow and, and be cut off. So just, just be warned of that. Uh, 6,000 glory, 5,000 glory, 4,000 glory, 3,000 glory. This is really where the new history plays in. Uh, tier 3 alpha catalyst fragments 30% and 30% of tier 6 basic. That is significant. A 25% tier 5 class catalyst selector is significant for Cavalier players if that might get some people to Thronebreaker before July 4th week in sales, and maybe it will. 2 tier 5 basic. No tier 5 basic or tier 2 alpha for Thronebreakers or Wallet Breakers. That's a first. And then... A generic rank 2 to rank 3 rank up gem for a 6 star. That's amazing. I mean, you think about all the things that that um, takes place of, right? From tier 2 alpha to uh, a fully formed tier uh, 5 class catalyst to multiple tier 5 basic to, I mean, you name it. Uh, generic rank 1 to rank 2 6 star rank up gym for Cavalier generic rank 4 to rank 5 5 star gym that's really good for uncollected players that's going to help a lot of uncollected players and generic 4 star rank 4 to rank up 5 gym again for for conquerors that's not going to be that exciting although maybe it'll help you become uncollected challengers it's going to be amazing we're giving this package out now because we have implemented our new input system into the game however we know that there are still issues thank you Kabam Jacks for knowing that we're going to continue to work to address those as they rise, you've all been quite patient with us and we don't want to make you wait any longer. Here's a look at some of the fixes that we're currently working on, the new input system. So, kudos to Kabam. They're not just saying, here's compensation, ignore all the fires that are in the house, right? Kabam Jax is still implementing this. Kabam Jax, you are the MVP. You have done so well so far. And I just, maybe some of you think I'm being too kind, but I just give credit where credit's due on this channel. Keep it 100. And I love pra praising Kabam when they deserve it, but I also don't mind... Uh, calling them out when they are, well, in need of being called out. Uh, suspension of the game results in input issues. Champions completing attacks after being interrupted by Special 3. Ongoing investigation improvements to dropping inputs. Investigating its consistency between mid-screen thresholds. Tools for identifying when issues occur mid-fight. Issues surrounding lag building over time after 36.1. As well as making improvements to the general health of the new input system. If you encounter any input issues, you can still help us identify this in filling out this form. We all know that there's still work to be done. But I want to thank you for all your patience so far and your continued support in the future. By the way, Kabam Jax making this post instead of Kabam Mike is like the best way to drop the mic on a better form of transparency for the forums. So that's smart. That's uh, that's like getting a rookie or like having a freshman in high school be called up to varsity or having a rookie now play in the All-Star game. Like, you may not have been here for very long, but you've proven your worth, Kabam Jax. And, and you get to be the, the name on the big forum post. Um, all right, let me know what you think uh, of the compensation. I'm excited to open mine in a separate video, but we're already almost at 10 minutes, so we'll end it here to try to avoid those pesky triple ads.